Hi YouTube, I'm hungry, and today I want to answer your question. The question is, what is SPG? Well, SPG to me, it's a seasoning, all right, and it stands for salt, pepper, and garlic. Not that powdered garlic, but granulated garlic, right? And then most of us, we add a little bit more to it. So I want to show you today how to make it because you know when you buy those little itty bitty packs. Someone else is making it for you. And generally, you're getting it out of somebody's basement. Why not get it out of your own backyard, right? So that's what we're going to do today. All right, so what I do is I measure everything. But for this, at least, right? But I don't measure it like here goes a cup of something. What I'm going to say is here goes, oh, geez. That's like a pound of granulated, granulated garlic, right? Mmm, baby. All right. Oh, look at that. Look at all that dust. Oh, it smells good down here now. Smells like garlic, all right? This guy here, I've already measured all these out, so all I'm doing is putting them on a scale to make it look good for you at home, all right? This is actually like two pounds of kosher salt, right? Trust me, oh, what we got so far? We got a pound of garlic, uh, two pounds of kosher salt, all right? This is three-fourths pound of black pepper, all right? You're gonna say to yourself, ooh, I need more than that. You don't need no more than that, trust me. That might be too much, all right? But there you go, oh my God, that looks wonderful. That's gonna make everything a little bit spicy. All right, here goes, for me, one of the important parts, right? This is paprika. This ain't no any paprika, all right? This is smoked paprika, boy. All right, so I'm gonna add that in there. It's a half pound, it's a half pound. And trust me, as much as I like paprika, if it was cheaper, There'd be more of it in there, boy. All right, so this part here, I'm actually going to weigh out, right? And I haven't done it yet, because I'm lazy. All right, so I had to hit that tear button. This here is granulated onions, all right? Granulated onion powder. All right, check this out. The reason why granulated onion powder, and I say onion weird, and everybody's going to start laughing. It's okay, you can laugh at me. Why do I does? Onion, onion, onion. I don't know. It's onion powder to me, all right? The reason why this is important is because you want that flavor, all right? So these last two is why your SPG that you've tried to make at home isn't as good as the little package you buy out of someone's basement, all right? And I'm shooting for a pound of this. All right, that's a half pound. Jeez. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ah, that's a pound, all right? That's a pound of onion powder, all right? I'm gonna throw it in there too, all right? Look how wonderful that looks out. There's going to be a lot of dust. This is one of the reasons why I do this in the backyard. When you mix your spices together, there's always some dust. You do this inside your kitchen, all that dust got to go somewhere. And boy, my wife would hate me if I did it in there. But anyways, I'm just going to start gently mixing it together. All right, there ain't have to be a whole lot of force here. We're just gently going to mix this together. Because I don't want to create more dust. More dust is not good dust. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Look how yummy that looks. Just look at it. Guys, guys, if, if you have even a little bit of outside knowledge, you know this is good for beef. This is good for just about anything. Um, I don't put it on my chicken. I use my white meat sauce for that. And, you know, I'll show that to you guys the next time I need to make it. But um, I'm just going to continue to stir this up, right? Yeah, buddy. You know, what would be really good right now is if I had, like, a mixer right but for whatever reason my mixer stopped working you know if you watch the cookie video you'll find out why it stopped working right my little hand mixer it's because i killed it all right that thing i brought back inside straight, straight up was on fire all right so um what i have to do here is i just have to sit here and mix this by hand and that's what i'm going to do i want to mix this by hand you know um, i ordered me another mixer you know, I haven't smoked now for, oh geez, about 40 some odd days, 40, maybe even 50 days. So, you know, I like giving myself presents. And my present this time for not smoking was a KitchenAid uh, stand mixer, like a lift bowl one. I think it was the 600 series. You know, and I was lucky, I got it during Christmas time. And it hasn't shipped yet, right? But I got it during Christmas time. If you're watching this video, I don't know when I'm gonna post it, but 
it's right after the new year at my house right now. I'll probably post this pretty soon. Um, but about three days after Christmas, I showed up to my local store. And I said, you know what? I need that mixer. And they were sold out. So they said, we'll order from our warehouse. It'll be at your house next week. Well, it's been next week already. And uh, no mixer yet. All right, my mixer, they say they're having trouble finding stock of it. But listen, I just picked up like a five, six hundred dollar mixer for like two fifty. You know, I got a sale on it that I got the scoop on. So let me tell you what: if I gotta wait a little while, I'm gonna wait. Um, I'm not gonna let them cancel that order on me. That ain't happening. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not any other day of the week. You know. But this would be much easier if I had that mixer or a mixer. I just don't have one, so I'm just gonna gently keep on turning it until when I turn it, it looks good to me. You know, it looks like I'm seeing the same out of everything. Right? If you were to smell on this thing right now, boy, oh my God, let me tell you what. And, and, and here goes another thing too. I know what's inside this. You know, I went to Costco myself with my own two hands and I picked up all this stuff, right? This is my stuff, I bought it, right? I, I'm gonna assume that old Thompson since 1944 ain't gonna put nothing bad in my stuff. So I ain't getting out of someone else's basement in one of those little uh, what are those little silver bags called? Put it in the comments what the silver bag's called. I ain't doing that. Not out of someone else's basement. I'd rather just get out of my own backyard. All right? Now, that to me is looking pretty good. All right? Now, what am I going to do next? Well, I got this thing here for, for Canon, right? And I got these old jars I cleaned out. This here just happens to be a Smucker's jar, all right? And I'm going to fill this boy up. All right? This is why I use this. If you put it into like one of these, let's say you had an empty one of these, eventually this this thing here, it leaks air and this likes to clump, right? That's why I use granulated and not powdered of everything. That's why I'm using kosher salt. That's why I didn't use fine pepper. I, you know, I use the coarse pepper, the granulated garlics, because they, they're gonna wanna like tighten up and clump up into little balls. All right, now my wife got me this little gravy ladle. I said, give me a ladle. She said, but this one looks fancy for the camera. I said, woman, I'm in the backyard. I don't care what it looks like. I need to get done. So, you know what we're going to do is I'll fill this one up on camera. And I'll just do the rest on my own. All right. But, uh, actually, you in it for the long haul. I'll fast forward to it right now. Tostitos. All right, everyone has one of these. Oh, look at the fly. Look at the fly. It's a fly in the winter time. He's hungry. It's all right. He'll get some. Look at this. Spaghetti sauce. It's Prego. All right. It's a Prego bottle. I haven't had Prego in I don't know how long, but that's what that is. It doesn't fit in there good. That's all right. I'm just going to leave it laying on the top. Hopefully it doesn't fall down. You know, maybe I should start testing this shit before I do the videos. But, uh, what it is, it's a big jar, boy. We're just going to fill it up, too. We might need more, and I got a whole stack of these jars over there. We don't throw those away. You know, they're always good for something. Oh! It went down the hole, though. I didn't, I didn't ruin it. You know what's good about this particular ladle? It has this little thing. That's what she said. It has this little thing on the side. You won't waste anything. You won't wait. I wasted a lot of it. The little thing on the side, it don't do shit for you out here. All right? I don't care how nice it looks. It's shiny. That's why I got it, because it was shiny. I got this nice ladle, because it was shiny. Because if it wasn't shiny, she wouldn't have brought it here to me, all right? All right, guys, I'm going to call that one full. I don't like that one. The, the shiny ladle. All right, look. Tostitos again, all right? This is a good jar. You can throw that crappy, that crappy jar away. I'm sure it was good for somebody. It ain't good for me. The little bit that hit the table, look guys, I'm okay with, all right, why? Well, I'm not a snowflake. I know there's starving kids somewhere in the world. And well, they ain't in my backyard. If they wanna come pick this season up, they can. And that's fine, because we done, we out of here. That there, SPG in the backyard, all right? And these jars are gonna keep it from clumping up, because there's no way in hell anybody's gonna use this much SPG at once well, let's make a video, right? Let me show you how it's done. There you go. That's SPG. Bye-bye.